like to uh, welcome you to uh, our presentation on revolutionizing 5G infrastructure, Open RAN, Loki, and the Open Telecom ecosystem. With me on stage, I have Jose Miguel Guzman from Whitestack and David Patterson from Dell Technologies. On the screen now are the topics that we're going to discuss this, uh, this morning. Uh, first, we're gonna dive into the open telecom ecosystem, a new ecosystem um, that supports more integrated, distributed, and multi-vendor solutions. Uh, we'll then provide a brief open RAN intro, and then follow that up with a description of Loki in telecom and how it can help you create solutions for today's uh, modern networks. Uh, the next on deck is uh, Telecom Edge hardware and how commercial off-the-shelf hardware is available to um, incorporate into your solutions. And finally, we'll provide a demo. So the first topic is open tele the open telecom ecosystem. Uh, at the top of the um, list of logos, are the three organizations um, that promote open software uh, solutions on the, on the left of the slide. That's of course the Open Infra Foundation and the Cloud Native Computing Foundation. On the right is an organization that supports and defines standard hardware implementations. That's the Open Compute Project. And along the bottom is a list of organizations that you may be less familiar with and these are players in the telecom uh, space. So we start at the left with 3GPP, uh, which defines the standards, and then a few other organizations that implement them. How are you doing? I'm gonna do a, a very high level, quick overview of, uh, of Open RAN and how the specifications are defined. So, uh, just, it, it, I have this, uh, this flow, starts top to bottom. Uh, 3GPP is who uh, is the group that defines uh, some of the, the, the base specifications. Uh, the, the next step downstream is the ORAN Alliance. Um, ORAN Alliance takes those uh, upstream 3GPP specifications and uh, further defines them uh, and they have a, a reference implementation. Uh, Intel then took what the output from ORAN Alliance is and created Intel FlexRAN, uh, which is, uh, again, building upon what the work that was done in uh, 3GPP and ORAN Alliance. And they also uh, add some things like CUPS and um, uh, <clears throat> uh, COTS functions on uh, virtual um, infrastructure. Uh, and finally, uh, what we're dealing with today is we have uh, Airspan's OpenRage uh, VRAN, uh, which is a license implementation of Intel FlexRAN. The topology that we're dealing with today is a full disaggregated 7-2 uh, split. So you can see on uh, the left side, you have the centralized unit. Uh, next, you have the distributed unit, uh, which takes care of offloading uh, the, the traffic directly off the RU. Uh, and then you have the RU. Uh, in, in, a, in previous releases of cellular networks, it was pretty monolithic, and one of the big pushes in 5G is to disaggregate this stuff. Here's a little more detail on the 5G disaggregation. On the left, you have the AMF and UPF, uh, and all of the corresponding interfaces under it. And then you can see on the right side uh, the CUPS architecture, where you have a, a CUCP and CUDP. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, FlexRain is, is very similar to this right here. Loki in telecom. Thanks, David. <clears throat> so let's talk about Loki, but in telecom, so probably most of you or some of you will know what Loki is. So in general, Loki is a, a cloud stack comprised of uh, Linux, OpenStack, and Kubernetes. There is a very good article, a uh, very good post uh, from uh, Jonathan Bryce that you can scan and, and see the details. So. Um, but the, the central, central piece here in Loki is OpenStack. And the good news is OpenStack has been broadly adopted by vendors. So there is operators deploying OpenStack, but also vendors with products that will support 
telecom infrastructure. You can see a number of manufacturers that are including that in, those, in, in their portfolios. Um, and some other projects in the community that are directly connected what it, as, as requirements in telecom. So Ironic is important because it allows us to, to, to set up and, and deploy on bare metal. Uh, Cyborg is very important because it, it allows us to manage the acceleration layer. And Magnum also very important because it drives the integration with Kubernetes. Um, so Loki is not, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't came from the, from the telecom industry, but it's aligned to what S, Etsy has defined as the stack for telecommunications. So in, in the Etsy nomenclature, OpenStack is a VIM, a virtualized infrastru infrastructure manager. You can see it at the left side at the bottom. And in the Kubernetes edition of the NFV standards, uh, Kubernetes is called a SISMA, a Container uh, Infrastructure Service Manager. So Loki is completely aligned to what S Etsy has defined it as the stack for telecom in, uh, in the NFB architecture. Um, let's move to the hardware part. Thank you. So I'd like to talk to you uh, about uh, evolution in the hardware that you can use to implement your solutions um, for telecom and, and edge. So today you can find commercial off-the-shelf uh, off hardware from multiple vendors. Um, I've got here some um, that have been offered by Dell Technologies. Uh, the ones on the left, the PowerEdge XR4000, uh, were recently released and are available. Um, they are purpose-built um, for telecom and edge. Um, their depth is um, very well suited for tele telecom cabinets. And on the right is a previous generation that is still being offered called the XR11 and XR12. These are examples of what you can get commercially off the shelf. And here we have some more details about the hardware designs for telecom and edge. Um, the XR, um, so as, as it says, that there's short depth um, servers that are well suited for telecom cabinets. Um, they have front I.O. and they have extended temperature support for the environments that they operate in. Um, in the telecom networks. And they do comply with industry standards for telecom equipment, which is called NEBS, and NIL standard as well. And so there are the several models, and the one on the far left, the XR8000, um, is especially targeted at telecom. Okay, we got a quick demo for you guys. Um, let's do the skip here. Okay. 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 I don't know where the slide deck went. So this is a brief uh, overview of the entire lab that we built. Uh, right here, you're looking at uh, White Cloud's uh, OpenStack distribution. You can see the ver uh, various instances of each um, component that makes up the RAN. Uh, you have a Kubernetes uh, worker nodes. You have uh, a CentOS worker node, which is running the CU uh, functions. And we also have uh, VMs for the ACP EMS, which is an Airspan product, and the, uh, the packet core. And I believe this is based on Horizon. You guys take Horizon, and it's a downstream uh, implementation of Horizon. So I think I covered the interfaces here. So these are virtual interfaces that uh, will map to physical interfaces on the box. And all your console and logging. Back to the dashboard. So 
So now we're in, um, we're in White Cruiser, which is White Stack's uh, Kubernetes distribution. Um, it is uh, based on uh, Helm charts, and so we have applications, and then you deploy uh, an application Helm chart to a, um, a deployment, and then the deployment ends up in pods, and then you can uh, dig down into each pod, and view logs. And you can also get a shell into the container itself. And this was super useful. Uh, we use this a lot, debugging um, our topology. Dashboard. Now we're in ACP. This is Airspan's EMS system. We're on the G node B page, which is the, the, the radio and the CUDU. That's a, a, a term, telco term, G node B. Uh, that comprises the RU, CU, and DU. Here are the services. You can see that they're in good health. And our cells. Here's our G node B. So alongside from this GUI, uh, ACP also has uh, the ability to, to give all kinds of metrics. So various parts of the RAN stack and the radio unit itself will uh, push metrics up there. Now we're on to Ramus. Ramus is our uh, 5G core. We're looking at the cells, the cells in good health. And now users. Users are equivalent to user equipment. So in the case of our demo here, we're using a, a CPE, which is kind of like a gateway, a Wi-Fi gateway that you'd have at home, but instead of Wi-Fi, it's, it's cellular. And here's the dashboard, give you a high level overview. And here is the CPE. This is another airspan device, and this is our client. So at the front end, it can talk Wi-Fi. You can hook up to it with your phone or whatever, and then it will uh, transmit over radio. And I think I took a, yes, I have the radios here. You can see it's connected to radio. This is band 78 that we're on. And that's it from the bottom up. We have an entire RAN deployment using Whitestack, uh, uh, the Airspan RAN stack, and uh, the Ramus Packet Core. So a little bit about the context of the POC. Uh, so we develop all this uh, implementation in the Dell Hotel. Hotel is the Open Telecom Ecosystem Lab. So there we managed to have um, uh, get some airspan hardware. So specifically the a CPE, a base station, and their software, the CU and DU. Uh, so Dell provided all the compute and, and networking hardware, servers, and switches and Whitestack provided the cloud software in, uh, for virtual machines and for uh, Kubernetes containers. Uh, so this is a diagram of what we did. So we have at the left, of the left we have a representation of a main data center where we have OpenStack and Kubernetes virtualized on the OpenStack. So it's a number of virtual machines that provide the workers for the cluster, the Kubernetes cluster. There we run the 5G core, and we run the central unit. At the right, we have a representation of an edge site that's Kubernetes on bare metal. Uh, and that in that case, we run the distributed unit connected physically. The server is physically connected to the base station that, that, that runs the radio, the radio part. So that's the full picture of what we did. 
it was a very good experience. Thank you guys for, for supporting the project. And I don't know if there is any questions you would like to, to ask us. Yeah, one second, actually. Yeah. Any questions? Any questions? Okay, thank you very much. And there's a Q&A mic up here if you do. <laughs>